Hello and welcome to the Neil Stevens 400 mil photography challenge. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put the end of last week's video up quickly so you can catch up. Neil, how's it going, mate? What are you up to? Yeah, mate, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I've gone down the woods today filming next week's video. Do you fancy a little challenge? Yeah, go on then, what are you thinking? Great, do you have your 400 with you by chance? I do actually, yeah. Excellent, how does this sound? The both of us shooting 400 millimeters in the woods, three images, and we let the viewers decide the winner. <sighs> Why the woods, man? 400 mils in the woods, that's gonna be... Yeah, go on, yeah, all right, I'll give it a go. I need some more practice in the woods anyway. Great, well I'm already down the woods at the moment, so I'm going to get started and I'll speak to you soon. Good luck. Okay mate, good luck, speak soon. So I do have a lot of woodland around me, and if you go onto Google Maps and just Google Timmouth and then zoom out, you'll see actually how much woodland there is uh, in this area. However, the problem with it is 90% of woodland in the southwest is accessible, uh, is not accessible, to the public, it's 90% of it's private land. So it only leaves 10% of woodlands and we don't really have a lot of woodlands. The only stuff around here that we have are national parks and national parks are okay, but I find they're very new forests, if you want to call it that. So there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just I personally struggle to find good compositions because the trees, there's no character to the trees, if you like. They're all very upright, straight and, and a little bit boring. So I've just stopped beside the road and I've got my 400 already attached to my camera and I've just come across some sulphur tufts. These mushrooms are probably on their way out because they're brown in a little bit and as you can see they're different, they start off as a yellow. Look how many there are, so many. It's beautiful. They start off as a, a yellowy colour and then as they age, they go brown. And I think actually having the yellow and brown makes them look a little bit more interesting. So I'm gonna grab an image here quickly. I'm gonna get all these at the 400 mil focal length, even if I don't use them. I'm gonna get rid of that bread roll that somebody's put there. And sausage roll somebody's had. And just chuck down, just because it's in my shot. It would be nice to have a little bit of light, but um, it doesn't look like we're going to get any. Still, good start to the challenge. So as I've just come into the woods, there's a nice little bench here just to sat on its own. And I was trying to get this couple with the dogs walking away from me. And then another couple came towards me. So they've stopped to talk and it's kind of not, it's not looking right. So I'll pop the image up. I did get an image, but um, it's not the image. I wanted them a bit further away from the bench really to create a separation because the focus was going to be on the bench, but it didn't really work. So I'll pop that up on the screen. All right, so I've just come into the woods, and as you can see, as I was saying before, big separation of the trees, not really the greatest compositionally. So I've just been looking down here, trying to figure out what type of shot I'm gonna take. And there was a spider's web, and I managed to get an image of that. 
The only thing is my ISO's 128,000. I don't think this is going to be the best way to get these images. I think the best way is going to be out in the open a little bit more on the path, I think, although technically not woodland photography, I don't know. I don't know what concert, what does constitute woodland photography? Do you have to be in the woods? Is it just pictures of woods or is it, can it be anything? I don't know. I don't know. Oh no. I'm starting to feel a little bit of anxiety building on this uh, challenge. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to take it as any image because I'm in a wooded area, any image will be fine. So that's how I'm going to take it. So I'm going to take a shot over here of these mushrooms. And probably there's going to be a few more shots of macro -y type close up shots, I think, because that's probably the, uh, the way I'm going to go with this. And uh, see, yeah, I, th I think not overly confident, but I think I'm probably going to get, if I stick to what I know, I'm going to get something nice, whether it's as good as Neil's or not, um, I don't know. I'll give it my best shot. So, just come across some fungi on a just dead tree. They've cut a tree down. Um, looks quite interesting and if I can get that image right I can bring that tree uh, root from the left in through the image and uh, isolate that fungi so that's the advantage to having a 400 mil is that you get a really nice background it's a lot of compression so everything goes out of focus and you can isolate subjects really easily so it's one really good feature about having the 400 and it doesn't matter that the trees behind will be in the image because you won't see them with that compression that I'm talking about. So I've just got to nail the focus and we've got 3,200 ISO, which is absolutely crazy. A couple more mushroom shots and then I'm going to leave the mushrooms alone unless I find something really good. So we've got some here and then some in this tree. So I knew getting down low was going to be something I had to do today. So I put on all the waterproofs because I knew this was going to be the type of shot I'm going to be getting. Neil, what have you done to me? So, oh, I hope that was worth it. I'll pop the image up on the screen. Just quickly before I talk about my next composition. Uh, I've got a waterproof coat on. It says waterproof on it. I've laid down on the floor. And I'm soaked. It's going in the bin. So this composition, I think this could be an interesting image. Let me just, so you see this big tree down the centre. If I bring the camera over, I can separate it so it's almost the middle of the shot and then I can use some of this path. Obviously, if I had a wider angle lens on, it would look a lot better because I could use the whole path as a leading line. But the close-up shot, I think, is going to work as well because I'm quite far away. So I'm going to give that a go. So it's actually the autumnal colours that I think that makes this image work because You've got the nice separation. You've got the brown leaves on the path below. You've got the tree, which is greeny brown. And then you've got the oranges and greens within the tree. And it breaks up the image nicely, I think. And then separating the three trees as my focal point, I think it's gonna be a nice image. So, pop it up on the screen. Let me know what you think in the comments. And then what I'm going to do is once I've got all the images, because I'll get quite a few images and then I'll edit them and see which ones I like the best. And then those are the three that I'll pop up at the end of the video. So I never really know 
like just looking at the back of a camera i can see if i got a nice image but then half the time i get home and i don't actually like it or sometimes i'll get an image that i don't like and then i get home and i actually really like it so uh, for me it all depends on how i edit the photo as to whether i'm going to love the image or hate it so we'll do that i'll pop home when i've finished edit the photos up and pop the free at the end of the video up that i chose Look at these, look at these gnarly trees, look. I'm not getting them with a 400, I can tell you. I can't get back far enough to uh, actually capture those, but yeah, they would have been a great shot. Um, what a shame. Might get the uh, wide angle on it at some point, come back for that. Um, great challenge, Neil, by the way. This is uh, really testing my uh, photography, woodland photography uh, abilities. Quite, actually quite enjoying it. I didn't think I was going to enjoy this. I thought it was going to be an absolute nightmare, but yeah, I'm actually quite enjoying it. So thanks for that one, mate. So we've got quite a few little mushrooms down here. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to take any more mushrooms, but how can you not? They're so beautiful. Um, they probably won't make it into my final Final images, but there's one here. There's a nice little set here, which move some of this away. I might be able to get some of that in a shot. So ideally, with a mushroom photo, you need to get down lower or level with it at least. And there's a lot of this this bush here. Let's try and push it down. And this isn't really destroying the vegetation. It's just moving it out of the way it will spring back up Oop. some more mushrooms down here So we have an avenue of trees, some beautiful brown leaves on the floor, some browns, oranges and yellows and greens in the trees still. And we have some nice depth going through that throughout the image. I'm not sure how much of that will come out on the 400, but uh, I'm going to give it a go because it looks really interesting. The only thing it needs is a little bit of light. And at the moment the sun's coming in from this direction, so we'll have some nice side light coming in if those clouds give us a break. So I'm just going to wait for the light and then I will pop that image up on the screen. So that was the last image I took. So I just want to talk through the final three images that I select and why I selected them. So this image isn't in my final three images, although this is probably one of my favorites from the day. But the only reason I didn't select it is because the separation here just doesn't exist. I didn't get down low enough and that's my reason for not including that image. My reason for actually selecting this image as the final image, although not technically perfect, obviously you're very restricted with a 400 mil lens. I do like the fact that it's like a tiny little village and it's almost like there's different layers of things that's going on and almost you can almost imagine like a group of elves, pixies living in there and this being their home. So I quite like it for that reason. So whilst I was shooting on the day, I did actually have other shots that I took, but I didn't want to include them because I didn't include them in the vlog, like this photo, for example. I quite like the colors in this image. If I was to edit, a little bit the composition maybe um, it could make quite a nice image but I didn't want to include these sorts of images because I didn't record them this one was taken right at the start where there was a lot, there was a lot of people around so uh, yeah I didn't didn't include that and the same as this one was recorded right at the start and um, same with this bird I got managed to get that all these were right at the start but I didn't vlog these because there were so many people around and I'm not a fan of talking in front of people so the image with the man in dog and the woman in it was um, one that I really wanted to get. This is the what. This is the first image I took just before he walked past me, and it, it just felt it was lacking something in the image. And I think that's why I thought that the man and the lady walking through the image, but a bit further down, um, maybe like three quarters of the way down the image, I think it would have made a nice image. But um, yeah, shame it wasn't it. So into my next selection, and this is my second choice for the. Uh, competition so the reason I chose this one and not because it's mushrooms but because I just like the actual amount of 
variety of colours that are in this image are quite like the fact that there's a lot of um, browns and greens and um, the mushrooms obviously just uh, gives it a focal point. But yeah, that's that's my main choice for this. So on to my third selection. The reason I chose this image is just, I, again, it's the colours. I think I like the browns and the greens and the oranges in it. It makes it very nice and autumnal. So out of the two landscapey type pictures I took, this one was the better one of the two. Now, this is the one I chose for my selection, and this is because of mainly the colours. I like the framing and the separation of these trees, like I said, gives. I think it looks quite nice. Leads you into the, into the image nicely with the browns and then uh, your focal point to the tree. So that's the why, why I chose that one. And this is this, the 100 mil of the other image, that the final image I got just that you saw just at the start of this. You can't, you can't include this because it is 100 mil, not 400 mil. But I just thought I'd show you that one anyway because it's quite a nice image. And then finally, uh, this image is the image that I didn't select out of, the, out of the ones, but again, I didn't film this. This is the one where uh, I, I talk about the spider web and uh, I got this one at the same time. So those are my final images and they're back over to me in the field to wrap things up. <music> So that's it, that's my final three images. Now, I have picked three images that I think were different from each other. I didn't wanna choose, I wasn't sure what Neil was gonna be putting up, so I didn't wanna just choose mushroom photos, even though I do love my mushroom photos. If you're new to this channel, uh, you'll see a few mushroom videos on this channel. Um, so I have chose a few different, uh, three different photos. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you think they were better than Neil's, worse than Neil's, why, why were they better or why were they worse? Let us know in the comments below. If you haven't checked out Neil's video, do hit, uh, hit, that, uh, hit that link up here somewhere, one of these two sides, um, and that should take you straight to Neil's video and you can compare the two uh, bet between the two of us. And I know Neil's gonna have got some fantastic images because he is such a good photographer. And also, if you're not subscribed to him or myself, then please do consider hitting that subscribe button if you like this sort of content. We do a lot of outdoor photography uh, mine's more, um, I do a lot of macro and a lot of landscape, a lot of uh, mixed mixed sort of photography. I do, I do quite a few different um, styles. I don't really have one specific sort of genre of photography that I like to stick to. So mine's a bit more mixed bag sort of stuff. So if you like that sort of stuff, then stick around for uh, the next video. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you for taking the time to comment and like and subscribing, all that stuff. And I will catch you on the next one.